Hello and welcome to this episode of Backyard Fitness and Stuff. Today, we're going to be cooking some asparagus. Um, I'm also going to be cooking some salmon with it. A lot of people, they've come up to me whenever I was working at the Cooking Connection, currently uh, cut off because of everything that's happening. Whenever we were cooking, we'd cook the asparagus and people would ask how we got it just the, the perfect amount of crispy but not too soft. So today, I'm going to be showing you a simple recipe I'm going to show you the one thing you need to know so that you can get that asparagus the perfect firmness. Not too hard, not too soft, just right. There's a couple other little tips and tricks I'll show you along the way, like uh, where to cut it, where to be sitting it. Uh, typically, you can do it on a grill, but I don't have one, so I can show you that you can do it in a pan just as easily. So uh, let's go cook some asparagus. So like I said, the main thing we're focusing on today is the asparagus, but it would be unfair for me not to show you the fish that I'm cooking, but... The main reason that we're focusing on the asparagus, besides the fact that that's the main thing I get questioned on a lot, is because I don't have everything that I would really use to make the salmon. It's still going to be delicious, but only a couple ingredients, so it's not like anything too complicated. So I got my salmon here, a little bit of olive oil, and I seasoned it with a little bit of all-purpose spice, a little bit of garlic powder, and then squeezed lemon juice on top, and then cut slices of lemon. We're going to go ahead and let that bake in the oven at 375 but we're here for the asparagus but i would just i just thought it would be unfair of me not to at least show you the fish that i'm making okay so uh main thing here all right that a lot of people don't know is you're gonna take see where this discoloration is you want that you want that gone so right off the bat we're gonna nip that in the butt take those off all right you're gonna take a container fill it up with some water and while you're getting everything else ready go ahead and drop those in there perfect now we're gonna take another container here gonna fill that up pretty good with some olive oil there and now we're gonna take I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the rib roast and steak. Gonna drop that bad boy in there. All right. We're gonna go over to our pan and make sure that it's nice and hot. We don't have her turned on, see? So we're gonna let that pan get hot and then we'll be back. Had these soaking a little bit. We're gonna go ahead, wish I had some gloves, but it's fine. Take these right here, dunk them in your little thing. That's crazy, it actually fits perfect. You're gonna kinda stir them up in there, get that seasoning and olive oil on there. Yeah. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna put them in that hot pan and we're gonna throw a little bit of that truffle zest on top of it. Oh yeah, see it? See it getting seasoned right now? We're gonna go drop it in this scalding pan right here. See that? That's exactly what you wanna hear whenever you drop them in there. Oh yeah. You should probably use some tongs. <laughs> there we go. Today I'm using the truffle and rosemary sea salt. Get that on there. You can get this at your local H-E-B. <laughs> yeah. We're going to give those a second. We're going to roll them over. The key that I was telling you about in the beginning of this video is that you're gonna want to have them in there and then you're gonna use the flop technique, all right? So as soon as they have a little bit of wiggle, as soon as you grab one of them and they have a little bit of wiggle, you take them off there. So it takes no time at all to be ready. So if you are cooking your meal and it's gonna take 30 minutes for your salmon at 375, you're gonna wanna wait until your salmon's all almost done so that you can finish at the same time. I don't have tongs, so we're just going to use a fork to see, you can roll them over, 
I don't have an, a real nice pan or anything, so I'm not going to worry about using a fork. In a nice pan, you probably wouldn't want to be clinking against it. But you'll see what I mean. Like, if I go right now, well, that almost has some wiggle to it. They're almost there. You see it's taking no time. This is a real time shot right here. Making these. See that one? No wiggle in it. Oh, there you go. Starting to get that, that color on there. Nice. Mm -hmm. And you can go ahead and be generous with this truffle zest. You paid for it, didn't you? Boom. Smells amazing. Oh, see that? Done. Get them out of there. Get them off the heat. Get them somewhere safe. <laughs> There you have it and those will be perfect trust me the main thing like I was saying is that jiggle as soon as it has a, a little bit of that get it off the fire perfect and we'll be back whenever we're eating this and the salmon and there you have it the salmon and asparagus uh, you want to cook the salmon it says the 145 I usually go a little bit higher than that just to be safe that's with everything I do it shouldn't be gooey should be flaky and fall apart easy. If you like this, if you think this is delicious or any of this, leave a like. If you dislike this or if you think it's gross and disgusting and you hate me, leave a dislike. And until next time, backyard fitness and stuff. Woo! Almost wanted to do like the uh, the awkward shy guy on uh, TikTok. <laughs> Truffle asparagus? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Big salmon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's good. Mmm. All right. Cool. I'll probably just use the audio from that because that's funny too. That's even though it's not from the microphone. That's funny. You know what I'm saying?